people are sick and die every day from a myriad of causes. Families are hurt as loved ones depart. Life is dangerous. That's a fact. No government officials who are not to behave as tyrants, royalty, or rulers, but to be servants for good and moral purposes. Consent of the government is a keystone to a Republican form of government. Our rights are given to us by God. God is established to secure these rights, not abolish them. Government is not God. We have a right to think and exercise our conscience and strongly held convictions. Our founders thought so, and so do I. What do I do? I understand the compelling interest that the state has to protect health and safety, and doing it by the least restrictive means. I do not see extensive quarantines, house arrests, business closures, destroying our once vibrant economy as the least restrictive means. Frankly, I smell a rat. I perceive an agenda being foisted upon us which is unbiblical, un-American, and so not New Hampshire, and certainly not mine, and I don't believe it's yours either. Now, who is responsible for that? It's a good question. We will be looking into that, especially as elections loom in the relatively near future. I hope they hear us behind me. I pray that I am not responsible by not being active enough, vocal enough, or standing up enough for those values in my government. Some among us are chronic complainers and not part of the solution, taking a hateful attitude. I cannot and will not do that because I desire to please the Lord I serve and be better, part of better ways. So my challenge to everyone here today and everyone inside that Capitol building and in Washington, D.C. is answer this question for me. Do I have the right to petition my government for a redress of grievance? I believe I do. Here are some of my grievances that I am respectfully delivering to you now in person as I have in the past by various other means. We who are peacefully assembled here are making those grievances and concerns known. I do not want you to restrict the churches from being open to help people in this dire time of need. violation of various long-standing amendments and agreements prohibiting such. I do not want you to crash our economy, leaving me and us broke. This is not Russia, China, or any other such dictatorial country. So I'm challenging you to be a hero and not a zero. Move in divine inspiration, courage, wisdom, and graceful charity. George Patton, who is not from New Hampshire, but he acted like he was, said audacity, 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 the good kind of audacity like we are displaying here today. This is New Hampshire. First in the nation historically in many ways. New Hampshire has sent many great patriots out throughout the nation and the world, including one whose statue is on this campus. General John Stark, who said, live free or die, for death is not the greatest of evils, and that is the correct thing. Now let us be the first in the nation to get it right with coronavirus response. 
I share with you three verses of scripture before we pray to get the right context from 2 Chronicles seven, chapter 7. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Bow your heads and hearts with me, please. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of your only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we need your help. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the sake of the world which you love, so that people throughout the world will not die, and be lost for eternity. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to supernaturally and powerfully put an end to the coronavirus pandemic. We also pray, Heavenly Father, that you will receive the glory for this deliverance. We pray that many will lift up their voices to you in praise, and the mouth of David, doubters and naysayers will be shut. And we pray that during this time of crisis, many will call upon thee, Lord Jesus Christ, to be saved spiritually, be healed, and delivered. We pray and we obey liberty under law. Someone has stolen my country. I did not sell her or give her away. And we will have no other king but Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.